Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Goldeneye Randomized. So after the mess that was the last mission, and how much trouble I had with Bunker, hopefully Statue is going to be a little easier, even though I'm probably going to get lost, and I'm not completely sure what the objectives here will be, so this one might be a little tough, but hopefully we get some decent weapons for it and not super hard ones. So we gotta contact Valentin, confront an unmasked Janus, locate helicopter, rescue Natalia, and find a flight recorder. I believe four of these objectives are all at the end of the mission. It's only finding Valentin and getting back to the start of the mission we'll need to worry about. Lost track of the helicopter. Hmm, I wonder how they found that bugging device and destroyed it. Natalia's gone missing, has been abducted. We're gonna go to St. Petersburg. This is a cool level though. Just a park full of old Soviet statue pieces, relics. Okay, we got a shotgun. Uh, we've got the this thing again. Alright, starting off hot here. It's got some weird weapons here. The ZMG, Cougar Magnum. So who are we killing at this point? Because these aren't Janus agents. He's just like, you know, Russian guards at the, the statue park. Alright, so yeah, this mission is just a bunch of, you know, statue bits and stuff, and somewhere in here is a shipping container where Valentin is going to meet us. Though I could have sworn this level had a lot more fog, so maybe this will be easier being able to see everything clearly. Because, I mean, this seems pretty straightforward. I don't know. I think, really, this level has a bad reputation with people who have played this game more as being a confusing one. Because, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go right there. This might be easier. I know the ending part is going to be hard and might screw me over. There he is. But you are a spy, just, you know, their spy, or you were. So we gotta watch out for Janus. Probably could have guessed that. What is this? I guess it's just like a little statue. So I wonder what was special about those guards that they had. The Cougar Magnum and the ZMG. I mean, I'm pretty sure this actually is the right gun for this level. Alright, and they're reusing the cabin from Surface. Yeah, so this is the, the back of the level. Now we just have to backtrack to the start. So at least when I fail, this will be... I guess I can get up here. Okay, that guy just spawned like literally 10 feet away. So I guess guards just constantly spawn on this level, very close to you.
You know, if they don't have very good guns, the shotgun actually is not too bad here. I mean, we've got a lot of ammo for it. Which is nice. They've set it so that, you know, the ammo settings for the weapons that replace your starting weapon are actually pretty decent, so you don't just run out instantly. Since there's no guarantee you'll get more ammo for your starting weapon. I'm just gonna start ignoring these guys and hope that they don't uh, constantly spawn without limit. But I'm pretty sure they'll only respawn if I kill them or get too far away. I'm also not sure what I'm going to have to do with this part. I kind of know what happens, but I don't know what is expected of me. Oh, there's that hat. Do hats in this just never despawn? That seems like a weird thing for it to keep track of. Oh, did I go too far? Whoops. So, we're supposed to be finding the helicopter there, which uh, I guess is not through the gates. It's actually probably over here. Well, let me just rush through here. So yeah, it's not really that complicated a level. Oh, okay, so that guy with the hat was an officer for some reason. That's probably just random that there is a special guard. I think having characters like, oh geez, what is his name? It's totally not coming to mind now. The the man with the golden gun, Baron Samity. That's it. Having special characters like him and Odd Job appear is just one of the things that the randomizer does. It'll throw in those kind of like special characters now and then. They're not like preset to a level or anything. So this is actually a really short level. I don't think he'll talk to me if there's a guard around. Oh no! He's pinned me. Where do you think he's going? Also, we have to stand here. We can't uh, skip through this dialogue. Alright, bye. Where do you think he goes? Do you think he just disappears? Like those hostages do? Or will he stay here as long as I see him? Also, he's really short. I mean, even though I'm like, kind of on level with him here, he still looks really short. Probably don't want to hang around him in case he gets shot. Watch as I miss point blank shotgun rounds. I guess you can't really call them rounds if they're shells. Or is rounds a more generic term than I think? Okay, so let's hang a left this time. I heard the helicopter, and that's why I thought, okay, this must be the right way. I'm gonna switch to something with a little more range. So that's the exit. Oh, is it? Is this? I'm a little turned around. No, this just goes back into the statue part. I 
hear the helicopter. tabbed out of the full screen there. I meant to open the watch. Okay, confront an unmasked Janice, locate helicopter, rescue Natalia, find a flight recorder. This doesn't really help me. I mean, I hear the helicopter. I think I see it. Unless I'm supposed to actually meet Janice back here first. I might have missed something here. I had a hand grenade for some reason. Okay, so there's the meeting spot. We're all good in there. So, I always wonder, like, what is this weird color supposed to be? I guess it's just supposed to be oh, okay. Two at once. So I guess it's just supposed to be rusty. Well, he's obviously not in here. Is there another path in this level? Yes, there is. Alright, so he's probably back here. By the Lenin statue? Janice guards. Just want to point out that Trevelyan here exploded, got shot, and was in the cloud of nerve gas. He was out for revenge all along. So yeah, we have three minutes to get back to the entrance, is what I was thinking of the whole time. Oh boy, I need something that has ammo. For some reason I thought this standoff happened in front of the helicopter, and then you had like 20 seconds to get to it. But yeah, we gotta rush back into- oh, hello. Use the better shotgun. Okay, 
Okay, so hang a left here. I think these guys are actually supposed to have these shotguns too. So, not too much randomized in this level, it turns out. Okay, so I could hear the helicopter before, it just wasn't in the right spot. Come on. Come on, don't stand near the helicopter. Should be far enough. So I think what happens here is that the explosion actually somehow launched the flight recorder, and now it's just lying around here somewhere. I just can't remember how far that could be. I assume it could be all the way back in the middle of the level. Don't do it. sure it's not around here before going too far. Okay, don't see it. I assume it is fairly visible. It'll be a big box or something on the ground. Enough with the grenades. Did that one not actually go off? <laughs> he rolled and then just died. The bullets hadn't caught up to him yet. So now the level is just full of these Janus guys. No more regular guards. Oh, there it is. Alright, well that went pretty smooth, aside from me going the wrong way. But again, that's going to happen pretty frequently for the rest of this playthrough anyway. Except for a few levels here and there. I'm not looking forward to jungle because A, that map is hard, and B, I don't know it very well. I'm going to put my gun away. Let me see if I can find my hands. Where are my hands? There we go. Okay. Look at this guy. I'm going to go down and cover them. Alright, so that went pretty well. What is the... Oop. I wanted to see what the... time goal for this, but I guess I won't say probably a lot shorter than what it took me because I went the wrong way. So archives, this is a pretty fun level. Not too, too difficult. We just need to escape from the interrogation room, find Natalia, recover the bot black box again, and then escape with Natalia. And yet somehow, again, they can still get briefings to me.
Um, not really supposed to start with a gun, but that's all right. And the guy on the right has a Cougar Magnum, the guy on the left has a shotgun. So I should probably take out the guy on the left first. I don't know why they just leave your gun and a clip for it magazine on the table. Yeah, go ask her about it. Um... So I'm noticing... My gun appears to fire errors. A stream of them. So that's interesting. I mean, we've had this gun before. And it didn't have that problem, so... Oh man, that's a lot of Cougar Magnums. Oh, jeez. So I guess uh, there's a little... A little bit of a problem for this level. But that's fine. I don't mind blasting people with errors. Gotta watch out for those filing cabinets. Some pretty inflammatory info in there. I was gonna say explosive, but that seemed a little too on the nose. I'll get out of this room eventually. Jesus, that is a lot of guns. So yeah, I think everything is errored for this level, because look at these bullet holes. Look at my ammo counter. But again, that's not really the worst kind of error you could possibly have. What the hell was that? Set off a box chain reaction. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly where Natalia is, but this level's not that confusing. It's also one of the better multiplayer levels. Especially this area here is very memorable. I'm thinking if I can find some people actually playing it, I might add in... And there's a secret door back here. I might add in... A little bit of GoldenEye Source as a kind of bonus... Video. Oh my god, even my crosshair is fucked up. That's great. But yeah, I might uh, see if I can find a few matches of GoldenEye Source, since that's still being worked on, and it's looking better and better every time I see it. Oh, hello, again. RCP-90. It's nice, though. Having him around means I usually get a nice gun out of it. Uh. That was a rare death sound, it seems like. Okay. I think we have to stay in this area until we find Natalia. That's where we came from. Is there another interrogation room down here? No, there's just a lot of deadly boxes. And I guess firing posts. This is the firing post room. Where they execute people. Execute, not execute. Execute is a Pokemon. So I don't think this area has what we need, so she's probably in another... Oh, Jesus. I don't think they'd be keeping her in one of the, like, cubicle rooms. It's not very secure. Then again, they were keeping us with a gun, so maybe... The GRU isn't very good at security. Oh, 
Okay. It's weird, like, attic room. I remember this. Don't think there's anything up here. I'm actually not sure if there's any reason to be up here at all. Or if it's just, like... I mean, I guess I can shoot people from up here. Sort of. And I probably could have tried to spot the flight recorder from up there, though I think that's also in a side room. What is this weird detail? I guess just... Is there, like, wood under the stone, or is that just supposed to be brick? Okay. I think we're going the right way. This is one of those levels that I actually did play, but I never, like, frequently, but I never did memorize it. Well, frequently in the handful of times I actually got the chance to play Goldeneye. I think this is the right way. I think she's just around here. Hello, Michigan. See, he's not so bad for a Soviet. I don't suppose you can tell me where Natalia is. I'm having trouble finding her. Oh, that's where we just went. I believe we can just leave the level by going out here, but we need Natalia with us. Okay, where's that RCP-90 I picked up? Wait. Is it this way? No, nope, that leads... Oh. Yeah, there's just this weird courtyard here. It's not actually an exit to the level. Okay, so I think I'm on the wrong side of this floor. That leads to the windows. That leads to the wall. I guess she's not down here. Just gonna need to follow the wall here and see if I can find another door. Well, not from here. Possibly this way? No, it's just another window. And this is where we came from. Okay, so I went along here. I was like, hey, look, a door. Okay, this leads back there as well. And then there was the stairs that go up. Hey, there she is. I'm scared. I'm getting out of here. Come find me. Where the hell did she go? It's all of our objectives, right? Except for escape. Yep. New objective. Find Natalia. Again. Oh, she probably ran up here, didn't she? And that's the only reason for this area. 
No, maybe not. I think where she goes might be random. Just in general, not just under randomizer. But she might have also ran towards where Mishkin is. Oh, there you are. I don't know why she stops after a little while. Go. I'm just worried that if I go first, it's not going to count. Um. <laughs> Alright. So this one should be fairly short. So I guess we'll add this one into the end of this episode. So contact Valentin again, pursue Oromov and Natalia, minimize civilian casualties. But hey look, Natalia has been recaptured again in yet another level, right after we just rescued her. So this level is actually just based on the part where Bond fights Ormov while driving a tank through St. Petersburg. Oh god, no. The watch laser. And also we only have three minutes. Taste the future. So this level might actually be easier, because normally there are guys with rocket launchers. Which make the tank not such a great thing to be in, because obviously you're very vulnerable to explosions. Okay, and I think there's a little side area we need to go first. Before we make our way down the streets. And I'm not sure I've ever played this level on Double O Agent because uh, I didn't remember doing this. Normally you would just be able to drive down the streets running people over. So he said a phone call will delay them, and I'm pretty sure that gives us a little extra... Someone shooting me through a window? I'm pretty sure, yeah, that'll give us a bunch more time. Right, we have to make sure not to kill any civilians. Because there are just random civilians running around. Let's go back to the tank. I mean, considering we've got to rescue Natalia, I guess it's true that you can pick up chicks in a tank. Nope, nope, not the slap chop. Okay. There's also landmines. Or anti-tank mines, I guess. Why they would put anti-tank mines in the streets of St. Petersburg? Well, I guess they knew we were going to steal a tank. Gotta watch out for running over these cars, because they will also explode, which will hurt us. Nope. 
Nope, they still have rocket launchers. Abort. Get away from the tank, you fool. Okay, that was not on me. The fucking... The rocket launcher soldier just straight up murdered that civilian. Oh. Yep. The car killed me. So yeah, unfortunately... On the higher difficulties, the tank is not actually a great idea, because it is too big of a target. So it might actually be better to do this on foot. Try something here. Oh no, I can't. I can't squeeze the tank into the, the back area. We have to go. Also, the get get in and the get out button is the same as the reload, of course. Shotgun's rally not proving to be so bad. I mean, of course, it's not as good as the other one, but it's better than some of the other weapons. Could be a clob instead. I think there's somebody in one of those windows. Alright, Valentin. So I really wonder then why only the last level had weird glitched everything. Oh, come on. Fucking soldier doke here. He's out for revenge for all those times I killed him. Well, actually just the one time. But he keeps coming back. Well, that was 100% not my fault. Like the civilian casualty. says the watch laser can't be an effective weapon. Right, so I'm gonna have to actually look behind me for wherever this guy comes from. Oh, he's a tough guy. Is there a guy in here? No. You don't have to keep getting closer to me. I can hear you. It's a pretty small room. Alright. Now, let's just run down the streets. I 
I guess the tank is not actually that much faster than walking, considering how fast Bond moves. This is a pretty good gun for this level because it's very accurate, but I have like no ammo for it. Shotgun, not so much. Ah, you can't hit me. Oh, well, I guess I didn't have to hit him. Just don't want to catch a rocket because you can only survive none of those. here. Oh, that's many rockets. Jesus. I see body armor. Nope. Nope. Just keep... Okay. Thanks, guy behind me. So here's the rocket launcher. Surprised we haven't got that as a randomized thing yet. And it shoots errors. Funny thing, I never realized this was supposed to just be an RPG. I mean, it makes sense now looking at the sights and everything. But I always just assumed it was some, like, you know, like a law or something. But no, this is just a bizarre gray RPG-7. I have, like, no ammo for anything. It's also not very good for us, because unlike the guards, we don't have infinite ammo. I hope I'm going the right way. I have no idea where to go. I don't know how many other... Okay, okay these are the mines. Oh, grenade launcher. When did I get that? Okay. Mine should be all clear. Oh, where's that ammo? Up. Oh. God, that's not a nice sound. Dropping grenades, so I'm just gonna keep moving. Yep, this is not nice. That was some heavy crossfire, I'm out of ammo. I find the RPG actually really hard to use seems to drop too low or go too far when you aim it. I'm running low on time here. that blockade is the right way to go. Oh, shit. Okay, good, they killed themselves. Or one of them did. Shit. 
Oh. It's super shitty. Out of everything. Why can't I hit him? Well, uh. He's, he's too good. Well, this is proving tough. I think we're almost at the end, though. Thank God there's body armor in this map. Whew. Why did that car explode? Who cares? But I'm pretty sure if you finish it with the tank, you actually just, just drive out with the tank. All right, so next time we will start with Depot. Wait. Did it not? All right, I think I fucked that over by hitting back instead of hitting next all the way through. So I might just have to replay this level again on my own. But you've already seen it, so you won't be missing anything. Anyhow, next time we will start with Depot, which is a pretty fun level with lots of guns. And we are getting fairly close to the end, probably two or three more episodes, I think, depending on how much trouble I have. Jungle might have to be its own episode. We'll see. Until next time, I've been Jade Fire, and this is GoldenEye007 that has been randomized, and I hope you'll join me next time.